Sonnen. It's devastation time! Frightening! Unnerving! A couple of bad, bad dudes! Underway with this huge tag team match. Akam often dresses like he's going to war, and tonight's match Damn. might be a war. Yeah, if I were his opponent, I'd find a white flag pronto. Abuses him with an elbow. The challenger's taking on some offense. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely oh, confident. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. You never want to count a competitor Yikes. out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Oh, my God. Take it out the net! Destroy your ligaments. Knee stop. That'll ruin your leg. We may have discovered his favorite move. A concerned look on the face of the champ. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very Ouch. capable partner he can tag in here. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Tag made. Double team ahead. Into the sidewalk slam. Boom! Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Guys, there is reaching for the figurative brass ring in the WWE, and then there's taking it. Cesaro's a superstar who's always been on the cusp of going to the next level. Fans still sense an untapped potential. I have to remark to Michael's point about Cesaro obtaining that brass ring. Cesaro is impressive, but maybe he just needs to wait his turn. Wait his turn? This isn't a checkout line, Saxton. Every single week that he performs, I sing the praises of the Swiss cyborg. He may be the most overlooked talent that we have, but I don't think he'll remain under the radar that much longer. Sheamus gets tagged in. Thank you. 
Challenger starting to oof. Oh, what are they gonna do here? Oh, the clover leaf! Check out the torque on the back. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches, he breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. See there. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Whoa! But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And a quick kick out from Sheamus. Gonna take more than that. Sheamus is showing a lot of heart here, but how can he turn this around in his favor? The challenger is starting to feel the pressure of this high-profile championship match. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. He's taken on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together. Cesaro is in position. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, that should do it right there. And the champ kicks out. It's way too early. Look at Cesaro stalking him. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. This is not going to end well for Cesaro. Boom, running STO. Nicely done. Things are looking dire for Akam. Something better change quick. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Second time we're seeing this here. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down, and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Well, he's tapped into a power source I wasn't sure he had. See if he can keep it going. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. A bad place to be for the challenger. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. 
Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his opponent back into this match. Shoulder right to the midsection. Here's Razor. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Impact. Let's see that one more time. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Here's Akum. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Two. Three. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. Here are your a legendary and performance. Touchdown, tag team and take them and Razor.